So let's have a look at 4% and dollar breakout setup so far on November 16, 2017. This is around 11.40. So we start by looking at 4% bullish. For 4% bullish, basically the scan is universe. Universe is the stocks which are US common stocks plus ADR plus ETF. And you're looking for a stock which is a 4%, volume is greater than yesterday's volume and volume is greater than 100,000. So basically you're looking for a range expansion. Now, basically like this is sorted by dollar and dollar because somebody will ask is C minus O, that is close minus opening price. So what it means is this particular stock from a closing uh, price today, from the opening price, it's down to $2.40 so that it opened like $2.40 above where it is currently, okay? So that way you can eliminate a lot of these stocks uh, which have not had follow through since opening on a gap up and also stocks which are lower priced. Uh, see most of the time like when I do these videos I show all 4% record but like personally I don't really look at anything which is not ab uh, about 25 cents. So that way you can like you know, get rid of all these lower price but if you have a smaller account it makes sense to look at even lower price stocks so let's like, just look at things which is like if you can find a good setup in this particular thing okay now you will see the indexes are up a lot but you need to find a setup because you buy a setup and not the indexes uh, so if there is a good setup now see the stock is in a downtrend it's not the kind of setup which i like some people do buy stocks which are in a downtrend uh, expecting it to have a quick bounces but like that's not what I look at uh, now view ray this is a possible stock like say it has got a trend intensity it's been a choppy little bit choppy has is closing near the high the volume is decent uh, you would have not liked so much of choppiness in the base more structured would have been better but that's one possibility see again like you don't have to buy everything which shows up uh, you can prioritize once you select like your Cori, which is uh, again a biotechnology but uh, again like it's become very choppy a continuation setup like this is a better setup than this something like this so now you have ESIO okay now this is a good setup basically because this is an earnings breakout okay here there's an earnings and if you see the earnings are like 263% EPS growth rate and 139% sales growth rate 322 and 52 now this information uh, how do I get this information I get it through uh, say market smith uh, which is basically a uh, expensive tool in the sense it costs you around uh, hundred dollars I think or more per month uh, and if you see like unfortunately when it is minimized it doesn't show all the things but like it's 263 and 139 and 322 and 52% EPS percentage growth. If you look at it this uh, on this particular thing also, the stock was making losses for last three or four years. Now it's turned around, okay? So this is the first year where it is turned around. And as a result, like as the market expects this turnaround, so if you see it's already up from $4 to 24, so it's already up 600% also based on that. So this was an earnings also here. This is where the 322 and 52 happened and now it's 263. So that's a good setup. Probably some of the things are like, an, it was up only say 0.35% here, like 1%. So it's not really, even though it is technically up three days in a row, it wasn't really a big thing. And stock is closing near high also. So that's one setup which looks good. Nice, like you know, that's the kind of setup uh, which has the potential to make it to 10% or 12% move in next couple of days so basically that's the kind of setup to look for okay now let's keep going and now you have smart global holding now whenever you have a gap up like this typically there'll be some news and you can always find what is the news by going to things like finways which is what i use most of the time because it's free and it is more easily like capture the news so what is the news smart updates guidance for first quarter so it has a guidance that's why uh, but as a setup like in order to buy i don't see much of a volume here on that gap up and it was a very nice anticipation setup here but unfortunately it gapped up beyond the buy point so uh, i wouldn't look at anything like this unless there is a earth shattering catalyst on this gap up kind of a thing i let it go uh, you need to have some real catalyst for this cat kind of gap ups to follow through. Okay, uh, China advanced construction material again. 
uh, there must be some news uh, now end tab this is earnings now the earnings it's a large cap stock uh, 12.3 billion float is 188 uh, the, most of these tend to pull back after earnings and uh, also like as a setup I don't think and that's the kind of setup which I am willing to buy unless you buy it right at the beginning uh, right at the open okay spectrum this is not a good setup see so choppy just bounce back for some reason now you have things like this Zunli and all like okay you can say there's three four days uh, it's been choppy it's been like and you, you want to see a more linear kind of a setup okay uh, this is again stock is in a downtrend or like actually entered a downtrend and now bouncing back um, not something which i am looking at tms also now walmart this is like an uh, again earnings and it's so surprising like you know walmart has back to back to gap ups uh, for a large cap stocks to make this kind of a move is really surprising but not something which i would chase at this stage and uh, not something which i would look at uh, the float is 1.5 billion 272 billion capitalization don't tend to be fast more you can't say that because it did make a fast move here like you know, in the sense for a stock of that magnitude 15 percent is a big move okay but not something which i would buy as a setup uh, now the okay, bio veracity it is uh, bouncing back from like but stock is already up three or four days in a row uh, three days in a row definitely so it's not and also doesn't have an established trend uh, MRTX now here is like one of the criteria which I always use is like stock should not have a 4% breakdown in recent days it had a 4% breakdown which didn't follow through but it is breaking out see it had a breakout here didn't really follow through means like next day it was up and then it ended up giving up the gains so this is the only move which it has happened after this big breakout uh, not something which unless you got in early morning not really looking at it black line uh, this is an ipo maybe kind of a setup uh, this big gap down is a negative on this volume isn't really very high also but it is closing near high so your possibilities okay noha this is a chinese stock breaking out of consolidation stock high 270 uh, 270 000 shares traded uh, float I don't know but float I can always find if the float is not here so if you look at here say no uh, uh, float is around 20 million I think and that's 20.9 million float and earnings don't look too good uh, means like and uh, they're okay 12 percent six percent nothing to get excited about but that's a good breakout happening on a chinese stock in terms of stock having momentum stock has momentum this is very orderly breaking out the negative to me is like it's a little bit like and you know, these are but like these are not really big moves they were like 1.75 and 0.79 but technically it is still up three days in a row and this is where like running this can early comes in a play if you bought it early it was a good entry now your stop will be much larger nine percent uh, so but stock has a history of follow through here you see like good follow through so that's one yeah shpg shop these are all like stock in a downtrend restoration hardware obviously there must be some sort of a news uh, you can always see what is the news uh, if you're looking at like say longer term plays or longer term hold then earnings is a good time post earning buying it their event risk is out so in restoration holding uh, It raised guidance okay uh, so it raised guidance that's like you know, that's the thing but the earnings is due 12 14 2017 not something which I would chase uh, something like this is like obviously there must be some news to it and if a stock makes a 325 percent move obviously it's too late to get in and your stock will be much wider so and it is making a move on whatever news so you have possibly from four percent breakout three or four ideas you have v-ray your esio i would say the esio is the best of the lot out of that because it has some catalyst in your earnings was good uh, the uh, breakout on earnings was also high and if you look at also on a weekly thing it's coming to uh, it's like an almost at a all-time high or approaching all-time high it's not approaching all-time high but at least and it is up uh, if you look at like probably 10 or 10 uh, almost like 10 or 8 or 10 years or more uh, kind of a high so that's the thing which is 
now because the market the way the market has been acting there's been a lot of selling and all uh, obviously if you're buying something like this uh, in terms of like taking risk you might want to have a lower risk now where does the stop go in this particular case the stop will go in 23.40 which is the low of the day 23.40 why because if this breakout is a valid breakout it should just continue to go up uh, so that's the kind of setup which is there uh, which is the stock which is showing up uh, now obviously you should always look at okay, where it would show up in other scans which you use like this was uh, anticipation set up here here uh, i don't think yesterday it was an anticipation but like for last two days it was an anticipation setup so anticipation can offer you a better entries then you have bl and you have NOAA. so we can copy all these flag to uh, watch list momentum burst uh, now this is on the bullish side as far as four percent breakout is concerned let's look at bullish on a dollar breakout because dollar breakout is basically a stock which is up uh, see minus o is greater than 90 so it's up 90 cents and volume is greater than 100,000 and c is greater than 7 that way you don't get stocks which are like gapped up and then you're giving up the gains so you have around 280 stocks in this now why run this particular scan in addition to 4% breakout there is a reason the reason is that la uh, the higher price stock, especially the higher price stocks, they don't move in increments of 4% record. Many of them can offer you a better entry with just uh, a small move uh, because they're not as volatile sometimes. Not every large stock in terms of price is not volatile. They are volatile, some of them, but no, not many of them. So this is what it offers. Now, once you have this, what you can do is you can sort it by dollar. I don't know why it is showing it to do cents. It should show 90 cents, but that's besides the point. And let's quickly look at the same set of conditions which we look for. Stock should be up, preferably in uptrend, should have like consolidation or a pullback, which is very orderly, should not have 4% breakdown prior to the breakout, should not be up three days in a row, and should close near the high and preferably volume should be high, which is not a condition required for a dollar breakout. So let's quickly go through and see if you can find good setups. Now you're five below, which is like breaking out of this consolidation. Uh, it's a stock which is up only 2.33%. So $1 like, and if you see last time it had this thing, it made a, a couple of dollars move. Or uh, see, none of these is like, this doesn't have 4% breakout if you see on this, but the dollar breakout, this was another dollar breakout on this, and the dollar breakout did make 10% move, or this dollar breakout did make around two, three dollars breakout. So this is a possibility, okay? Always first cut is to look at all the options and then decide which one is the best which you want to take so you have um, obviously if i don't stop at a stock means like i don't really see that as a very good setup this is a possibly was a good anticipation setup now for a etf this is a good setup basically because there's a small pullback and it is breaking out so that's a etf setup And once you know what you're looking for, you can go uh, with a lot of speed. Like it doesn't take me more than 10 minutes or 15 minutes during the day to go through all these talks multiple times. And you will get the best results out of these scans if you run them in the first half an hour or one hour. Because that's when most of the stocks show up. Now this was obviously 4% record yesterday and it is having a follow through. But that's not a setup which is like an, a buy now. Uh, you have a mad kind of a setup which is like breaking out of this consolidation very choppy consolidation you want to see like in a series of narrow range day like that and then here like and it made a move up around seven percent that was around four dollars move and that would have been a dollar breakout probably so for risking 97 cents you would have probably made four dollars on those kind of setups so that's why i like dollar breakouts because they give you lower risk entry mind and body which is breaking out of this choppy flag um, now this con okay this is a good setup now it is breaking out it's up four percent actually but like and the volume isn't high so that's the thing and a couple of times it has faded after being high but like that's and that was also an anticipation setup so some of the very good setups you'll find them they will be in your anticipation scan also qqq is again like and it's a decent setup for a etf i don't really run a separate scan for etfs etfs come in part of the same uh, scans so let's keep going and let's look at green dot uh, it's not really compact so i would let let it go 
Autodesk, many of these are breaking out. The volume is not really high, many of these, uh, because the market was up, so some of them are up. Um, obviously, that's a good ETF uh, if you're looking at something which is an, not a leveraged ETF. Now, RTT, now this is a good setup. Should have been also probably in your uh, anticipations, can know because it was down 1.35. But that's possible um, setup for a dollar breakout. So this is like in a three days compact, it is breaking out, closing near the high. Uh, stock is up only 3.5%. So this is what happens, especially on stocks above $40, uh, that uh, many of them don't break out with 4% breakout. Some of them can like you know, make a good move out of this. Again, this is decent, like this earnings related. Uh, now, bouncing back. Red Hat. Now this is a good breakout. Uh, see this sideways move here. Also, it was a dollar breakout. Uh, didn't really like and I follow through next day. It like ended up giving the gains, but like uh, that's one. So if you run these scans, most of the stocks will show up at various points. Like now this control, it's two days sideways, it's trying to break out. The earnings was here. Uh, there's an earnings gap here. Was this a really big earnings? You can look at these kind of things if you want to look at, uh, uh, because many times, like unless the earnings is really a breakthrough, um, Many earnings move, especially later in the move, may not have much of a follow through. So earnings was good in a couple of four quarters ago. Now it's going down. Uh, 2018 is expected to be in line percent growth rate. So uh, it's not really something which stands out as a ideal setup. This was a good setup here. Anticipation will always get you a very low risk kind of entries in many stocks which you want to buy or this was a 4% breakout here, which is a good entry point because the consolidation was much more compact there. But if you want, you can look at it. It is not even closing near highs, so that's the little bit of giveaway it is giving away, but maybe kind of a setup in my book. Um, so let's go and keep looking for setups, which can be like lower risk. Uh, this is a possible good setup, see here. Um, All these Upro and all they look as good uh, ETF setups. Now something like this VREX, okay, this is up three days in a row, so that's not something which I would look at because you want to be entering a swing at the start of a swing, whether it is for a swing or for a other move. Now guide wire, see, this is like an a this was a pullback, this is choppy, this was earning, so. That's the thing, it is closing near high, so it might have two to three dollars follow through, maybe, but like in a sound, there are many negatives. The choppiness is a big negative on that one, otherwise that's the setup. Uh, it's also one of those IBD kind of stocks, so if you see recently IBD had an article on this particular stock, so. Even something like this, Perry Grow. Uh, Now this is when you see something like this, where this information comes in, is the information would come from here. So if you ask me, somebody will ask me that question. The information came in from here, okay? Uh, I put it there because then you don't have to look at two, three software, unless like I don't put it on a lot of stocks, only the stock which are really break, uh, something which is like a significant uh, earnings kind of thing. This can work, Chinese stocks. Uh, it's been a bit choppy here. This was a better setup, 4% here. So because like it was clearly part of a continuation setup, but the stock has been a little bit choppy in the recent times. And a couple of failed breakout, like this breakout didn't really work. This was also a breakout, uh, didn't really work. Uh, so a Brady Corporation, now uh, that's a breakout, but volume is low. So you, for the breakout move where the stock is up 4% plus the volume is low. So that's the problem. Again, earnings related breakout. TNA, this is a good uh, 
the ETF entry, even some of these like, these are not going to be fast movers, but uh, United Rentals. So when you keep looking at these kind of breakouts, you always see where the money is coming, CDV, RNS. Uh, this was very thinly traded in the morning, like this was on the anticipation list also. Uh, so this was nice. If you got in early in the morning based on anticipation, it would have been better. Uh, scientific games, this is good. This is again our anticipation and the stock is up uh, 4%. Volume is not high, that's why it is not yet meeting the V by V1 condition, otherwise it should show up in 4%. And as a 4% record also, it will be a good nice setup and see like an, uh, here. See some of the anticipation benefit you'll always see by like, and if you look at here, was stock was up only $2.72, uh, 2.78% was a dollar breakout, but that was a nice entry point on a stock like that. Uh, JP holding again, like say earnings trend, but the earnings recently are 44 and 38 percent. It's going sideways, has been like, and uh, has some trouble following through on a couple of things. Volume is high in this consolidation or sideways move, so I would let it go. Can it work? Yes, it is work. The Chinese stocks are doing well today, uh, so they it might work, but. So something like this, blue, okay, you might want to take it uh, in a short watch list tomorrow it might have a two to three dollars down move also like fading up moves like this can be a good sh uh, short entry but it's a biotechnology stock sometimes it's risky uh, doing this now this was a very nice setup here as an anticipation setup because it was like an 0.43 percent here and uh, then it had a follow through for two days now there was a shake out kind of a thing now it is breaking out didn't close near the high and stock has become a little bit choppy here uh, there's been like in a couple of like in a choppy moves, but that's if it closes near high by the end of the day, maybe uh, that might work. Um, again, I think Wuba, yeah, this is the earnings. Like when it is 9990999, that means the earnings was about thousand percent because IBD just like rounds it up to 100 on that thing, okay. Uh, OLED, this is not a good setup, like even the earnings is good on this. Uh, the buy points were better buy points were earlier on that. Uh, CCMP, now this is a very nice setup. Uh, see, it's breaking out to high. It's a high price stock. These kind of stocks don't make like any big moves in percentage term, but they do make moves in dollar terms. So by risking a dollar, you can end up making a couple of dollars. Like you risk $3 and you might end up making six or $7. So that's how it works. TQQ, this is a good entry on a ETF kind of a thing. that we looked at already. Now again, like say stock has, but like in the stock is not four days in a row, so. Nova, which we looked at already in 4% breakout. Uh, Uh, Anap, this is uh, okay. I wouldn't buy it, it here. This was a nice setup here, uh, and also good, nice anticipation setup. Couple of times it didn't work, and then finally it worked. So that was the better entry on that was here, not today. Okay. Uh, then your yeah, SGM sucker, but like you know, that's just Amazon, but it just become a tray, uh, sideways move now. Google, this might work for 8 to 10 dollars, uh, you're risking around 11 dollars to make, say, I would say that if it goes to around here, you're looking at around 12, 15, so the risk reward is not really, unless you got in today morning early, is in your favor, Google, same thing, but it's a good nice setup, uh, the dollar breakout, that's a nice setup, 
and what else is there you have telefax which is again good and it is so you have see all these we put it into one watch list and you have momentum worst watch list which is basically has now a lot of candidates uh, so let's look at this uh, watch list a little bit like say uh, ufi you have qld your sircon qqq rst trinet itt uh, control ctx i think the best out of that uh, i don't know why uh, okay this is uh, esio i think is the best out of that if you look at uh, this one okay, that's because it has an immediate catalyst stock is also closing near high i mean again like any if you entered it earlier your stop would be closer if you enter it now your stop will not be as close but you have these all these options of uh, stocks out of this uh, today based on four percent and dollar breakout now here is what you can do if you want to hold things for longer term okay uh, you can trade four percent breakout as a swing trading method where you're just looking for eight to ten or twelve percent or twenty percent sometimes on lower price stocks up to forty percent move in three to four days using something like this or on a dollar breakout you're looking for five dollars to ten or many times thirty forty dollars depending on uh, what uh, is the price of the stock and where you get it uh, but once you have these this list okay uh, try and put it into baskets like you know, something which is like just a swing trade and something which is a longer term trade so look at each one of them and say look and is this a longer term trade the stock is already doubled or tripled here so uh, is that the trade which you want to look at like so and then you can decide look and which is the one which is a longer term which you want to buy and then you can buy based on that like say something like this is in a range bound kind of a situation so that may not be the ideal candidate but like say something like this which is breaking out from a good earnings this is the second good earning for this particular stock if you look at it like say if your tools like this um, because in order to do something as a longer term trade you need to have some basis for selecting stocks uh, so obviously like last two quarters like you see 322 percent eps growth rate 52 percent sales growth rate and uh, uh 139 percent and 263 percent so that's like and a stock is basically coming out of a, uh, this thing but the stock has already gone up 600 percent based on anticipation of this good earnings so keep that in mind also so but that's the kind of stock which you might want to hold for a little longer uh that might be the kind of stock okay while some of these like and i say uh, the stock has been going up for quite some time and the earnings have actually were better earlier than what it is currently uh, so the earnings were much better earlier now they are like any slowing down uh, it's expected to grow so down to nine percent even lesser than what it is but like and you know, that's so you can take a call based on like the po point which i'm making is like something like this outplay just for a uh, swing it's not really something which is a longer term play but something which is starting out like and you know, it's really at the beginning of a move uh, kind of a thing which is not extended where you see the like say uh, if you got into jp at this kind of a stage uh, you had you could have held it for a longer move of a couple of uh, the other thing which you have to understand is that most growth stock most growth stocks okay uh, their moves will be only two to three months okay so if you have to hold six months one year you have to find something which is more stable growth which is like an you know, stocks which are growing uh, earnings continuously for eight nine ten twelve quarters those kind of stocks can make multi-year kind of a move uh, but then like you know you need to have some basis for selecting those stocks uh, obviously when you're doing swing trading you're just looking at it as a uh, uh, momentum I, you don't need to look at anything else uh, if you're just if i'm playing this for a swing i just look at this stock and say okay this looks nice and buy it and that's it like uh, or as an anticipation i don't even look at what is the story behind but if i'm going to hold it for a long or if i'm going to like really build a big position then i would like and uh, look at what is there or some basis for selecting that particular stock like say something like this if i'm going to play i'm going to play it as a swing trade basically uh, so 
decide like you know put them into two baskets if you want to do a longer term then like select stocks based on certain criteria which per se should tell you before the move that this has a potential to make a, a big move not every stock is going to make a big move and most of the big moves will the really explosive moves will happen in a much shorter period of time so just holding it for 6 months 7 months 1 year is not going to help you much because the magnitude of the move or the velocity of the moves tends to be such that the most of the move happens in 2 to 3 months and this you can find out by going through a lot of past moves of even stocks which made a big move uh, that uh, there are like an you know, real moves like only last couple of months there are very few stocks which continue to keep on going up and up and up uh, so obviously amazon is one example of that uh, which had like an you know, a long period of growth or like say uh, price line which probably has is no more growing at that rate it might be a good shot here but like say if you look at price line on a longer term thing it kept on going up going up consistent now it's like an, the velocity is not there it just keep going up but those kind of stocks then if you look at their earnings they will have some story where they are consistently growing now if you don't want to really understand that story or if you don't have that much understanding of the story the simplest way to find some of those kind of stocks is to use uh, ibd scan called 8585 which you can create by going into the uh, uh, this thing and you can create a scan which will like say i have a version of that which is slightly modified but like eps is about 85 in terms of eps rating rs is about 80 instead of taking 85 i take it 80 and the stock is within 25% of 52 week high and the 50 day average volume is 30000 so you get around 300 stocks those are the stocks which can form your initial list Uh, because those are the kind of stocks which have the characteristics which you look for where like stock continues to grow for 8 9 10 uh, or 12 or 14 uh, quarters in a row because they are creating some sort of a category segment or they are like in you know, a creating some sort of a um, market which is like and you know, it just keeps on growing uh, especially this happens if you're like in you know, a say i will show you an example of a stock which has uh, now again it has slowed down but like and i say um, just to give you an idea like say fit core is a stock which has been going up for quite some time after ipo right see like and it went up for like 2 3 years right why did it go up because it continues to grow up till it, now it's again become choppy it's just going sideways but like if you look at this particular period why did it go up so much because for 10 12 quarters 13 quarters it was just growing and the reason is like and a fit core is basically uh, the fleet cards if you know what fleet cards are for like any companies give you a car or uh, and they give you a fleet card and then you can go to any repair facility or you can fill up your gas in your so this is what this fleet car actually does now it continued to grow for a long period of time and the stock also made a move, move. may not be spectacular growth like when you get triple digit kind of growth but if you see here like say if you see there to uh, pro, uh, 2012 to 2000 when it made a big move here like if you see here between this period uh, the earnings was growing up 405 consistently profitable company as against that you can have a choppy growth or you can have a company which grows very fast and then like uh, it just peters out and many of the technology companies will fall into that category where like you know, they will have two or three quarters of very good growth and then some competition comes in and they are uh, out so just to get back to what we are looking at basically is by running the scan 4% breakout bullish and dollar breakout you can find candidates like these and you can enter now let's look at quickly the bearish side of this thing also because you need to look at bearish also every day just because the market is up today it doesn't mean that you don't look at the bearish thing sometimes like you know, the good breakdowns actually happen in the market that day is going gangbuster and every stock is going up but something which is not following in the market's footstep is something worth looking at basically obviously there are limitations in terms of what you can short like and i say the kind of accounts which i trade i don't have much of leeway to short uh, but like say why why see so what i done is like basically uh, i have taken the 4% bearish copied all of them into a working watch list bearish work and i taken the uh, bearish here and copied all of them so that way you can like and uh, avoid some duplication and i'm looking at them Uh, so like i like say this is obviously the stock had a big move yesterday was up 24% on earnings uh, which was like an a uh, you can have a look at what kind of an earnings it had uh, so obviously this tool is not 
everybody can afford this. So the earnings was 42, 49, which is like uh, nice earnings for a stock, uh, not really gangbuster in the sense triple digit or something, but nice earnings. So uh, growing consistently, if you see EPS is 98. So what it tells you is that it has been consistently growing. See, it's been consistently growing. And the fastest price growth in any stock will happen when it has fastest earning growth uh, also. Like see, from 0.57, it went to $3.23 earnings, and that is where it went from 10 to 96, okay? Now, obviously it is not growing at that same rate uh, as what it was growing at that particular time, but it is growing 47% growth, 42% EPS growth, 49% sales growth is nothing to sneeze at, especially if your sales are 465 million. So that's a nice move, okay? Um, but that's not a short candidate, but like anything which has a big move tends to fade next day. So some of this faded, this is like some sort of it's going private or something. Uh, so you're looking for again a short setup now this is something which is like say the stock has had a breakdown here four percent breakdown following through chinese stocks are going up why is this stock down maybe something worth investigating okay uh, let's look at like your yeah, american financial group is choppy the stock is very choppy so uh, last time also it had this big drop didn't really follow through so again the big drop here, uh, Travelers Companies, Alexion, uh, Alni Biotechnology Stock, which is just a follow through. Then you have MTOR, which is like in a stock which is going sideways for a long period of time and then it has broken down. Sage, Willows Tower. Now this is something which is like really choppy uh, all over the place, uh, but like and it's a down today, but not a good setup. So if you find something, then you have to look at it. Obviously, when market is up 175 point, uh, 175 points on Dow, you may not find many shots. Uh, these are all like an, a, the ETF shots. This can work. Okay. Yeah, these are home. Uh, I really don't look at shorts which are like less than 25 cents and all like this kind of things I don't really look at so this is just for like to show it to you but like these are not stocks which are really good short candidates so you have one candidate probably which is an ETF that's the only thing so this is how you can run a process flow find your own stocks you don't need to be dependent on anyone whatever you want to do create a process flow and you can find the same stock, uh, whatever stocks people find, you'll find like say YY uh, would show up in your scan here, it will show up yesterday, uh, it will show up multiple times when you want it to, sh uh, when it is a time to buy or if it is a good setup, it should show up in your scans if you run the scans. And so this is as far as the 4% breakout and 4% breakdown are concerned intraday, November 16, 2017.